If you're considering back surgery, you'll want to be certain you really need the operation and that you have the right team for the job. Dr. Frank Camisa is the Chief of Spine Surgery at the Hospital for Special Surgery. He describes the ideal candidate. Someone who presents with severe low back pain, usually accompanied with leg pain, with weakness, and especially if there's any bowel or bladder incontinence, require surgery on an immediate basis. Most surgery is performed for three specific conditions. The three most common uh, conditions that might require surgery are herniated disc, spinal stenosis, or spinal stenosis associated with degenerative spondylolisthesis. The most important decisions are choosing the surgeon and the hospital. It's important in choosing a surgeon that uh, someone with experience who does spine surgery as their chosen specialty. What may look like uh, a routine uh, type of uh, procedure may become more complicated. The surgeon should have training in nerve compression, instability and deformity and doing a minimum number of cases. Someone who does 250 surgeries a year has the experience and the knowledge to uh, proceed with a surgical procedure on a patient. And have a low complication rate. The risks of surgery for a herniated disc complication rate would be less than 1%. The possibility of a recurrence, meaning could you have a herniation again in the future, can range anywhere between 3 to 9%. A patient that has back pain only and has had it for a short period of time and has not had uh, appropriate non-surgical treatments is not a candidate uh, for surgery. Surgery is truly the final option in treatment. Back surgery is complex and fraught with the danger of complications in the wrong hands, which is why it's so important to be sure you need the surgery and then have the right team behind you.